Actually, I did. You know, I, um, when I first came in, I had it made up in my mind that I didn't want to be a regular walk-on, you know. So I remained dedicated to the system. I bought into the system. You know, coaches talk about that a lot, and I just, you know, worked my way up. Why did you decide to walk on in the first place? Well, it was actually um, my father's idea. Like, coming out of high school, I didn't really even hear about walking on. You know, I went two years without playing football, and then I came up here, and then um, – Coach Elliott that went to uh, Kentucky, he um, I, I think he the one who invited me here and then he left, so I just decided to still come here. What was the whole process like in, in becoming a walk-on? Um, it was very it was very uh, different. You know, when you come in, you know, you just a you kind of just like a nobody. You just a body, you know, to help the team out. You know, nobody knows your face. You're not recruited like most people coming in, so uh, you really have to prove yourself and. Uh, and I, I, that's something I was willing to do. How did you find out that you were you know, on scholarship? Um, you know, after camp, like the, uh, the Monday after camp, uh, I got called into Jimbo's office. And, you know, he was telling me I did some good things. You know, I, I would be able to help the team out. And then he uh, he, he uh, had a piece of paper in front of him and asked me to, to sign a scholarship. What was your reaction? <laughs> oh, I just started, I just started uh, smiling. I was just like, man. I felt like the hard work paid off, but at the same time, I was like, you know, it's another opportunity. So, um, you know, I just, I just wanted to let my parents know, let my family know, because they're the ones who kept me uh, going. You know, when when things were getting tough, you know, they was they were supporting me, making sure that I just kept my head straight. What are you thinking when you get a call to Jimbo's office? I assume that probably hadn't happened before. Yeah, it never happened before. So I'm like. Well, at first it was to Mr. Uh, to Mark's office, and then he was like, "We're going to go to Jumbo's office." So I'm like, "I don't know." I I kind of had an idea because I seen uh, documentaries on like uh, the other schools offering their walk-ons, like, and it's usually after fall camp. So that was my idea, but I didn't know exactly how it would happen. So you didn't know you were going to Jumbo's office when you went up to the third floor, then? Nah, they told me to come to Mark's office, and yeah. then he walked me to uh, Jumbo's office. Yeah. That's cool. Well, what was it? What were? What was your family like? Um, I, well, the first person I called was my mom, and she was, uh, you know, she she just she was just so excited, overwhelmed. You know, she just started crying tears of joy on the phone, and uh, you know, it just gave it gave me the chills. You know, it's it was very emotional. You know, because because um, you know, the 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 past of my family is like, you know, this is a very big accomplishment. And then with me going to college, period, was a, a great accomplishment. Being in college in my family. And uh, and then I'm graduating soon, so you know that's just it was just like it was a very very happy moment for her. What do you think? Uh, something about you know about being a walk on or, or about walk ons that people don't know because a lot of times you know they don't get a whole lot of attention. Um, what people don't know is that walk ons are um, it's a very tough job. You know, a lot of people uh, they come out here, they line up, and they go against the biggest guys on the team. Not necessarily, you know, they're kind of like hitting dummies, but at the same time, it's a chance to uh, to prove that you're that you're um, worth being on at least a, a, um, a special team or something like that. What was the reaction from your teammates? Um, everybody was happy, man. They showed a lot of love. You know, I, before before I even got on scholarship, you know, a lot of people used to ask me like, "Damn, man, they still haven't talked to you about it or nothing like that." And I was, I used to just. You know, I was just patient about it. You know, everybody uh, congratulated me. Everybody was happy. They could, people came running up to me, talking so, uh, you know, chilies on you after practice and stuff like that with your flex butts. But yeah, it was it was a uh, it was a great moment. Who's the first person that you told on the team? Um, I have to say I told told Tyler Hunter and Marquez White. Yeah, yeah, those were the first people that I told. Yeah, well, Marcus Brutus said you're like kind of nonchalant about it. Like, you're, yeah, I got my papers. <clears throat> yeah, because because um, I'm still hungry. You know, it's more to it. I, even though even though this was one of my goals, I still have bigger goals, and I'm just I'm just trying to check them off one one at a time. You know, and um, uh, I I don't want to get comfortable because I feel like I can really contribute to this program, and I want to uh, I want to be I want to achieve those goals that I have. Yeah, Jalen kind of said that he said that you said you know you want to get on the field. Yeah, that's yeah that's one of the, that's one of the things I want to do you know and getting a scholarship will definitely help me getting on the field. How big is it a challenge to commit yourself to playing football, being at practice every day, being at games, 
uh, you know, while you know having to take care of, of your own, <laughs> excuse me, your own tuition, your own expenses, and all that kind of stuff. It's not like you have time to carry a full time job. At least I don't think you do. Yeah, no, nah, you really don't. Um, you you really got to love the game. Like you really have to love the game, and you have to love the process. If not, you know, it's it'll be really hard. It'll be really tough. You know, you'll be stressing, but you know. You know, once you look at the end of the tunnel, you know there's something at the end of that tunnel. But, you know, you just got to keep working and you just got to make sure that you do the things that are necessary to get where you need to go. How much of a relief is it just for your family to have this taken care of for this year? Oh, man. Um, like I said, it's been classes. It's been times where, you know, my family had to come out of pocket to pay for a couple classes. And, um, you know, it's just a blessing. You know, I thank God for it all the time. And um, that's. That's where my family stand. You know, we, you know, we thank God. We pray all the time, and you know, it's a blessing. It's a and they're they're in Panama City. You said I'm from Panama City. Your, your family's in Panama City. Yeah, I have family in Panama City. Uh, my father, he's in, he's in uh, Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, that's my. Where's your Where's your mom at? My mom's in Panama City. Okay. Um, yeah. Do they usually come to games? And uh, assume yeah, be- yeah. My uh, my dad, he um, I think he's part of like the University Club or something. Okay. I don't know the exact name of the program that he's in, but um. Yeah, he's part of that, and then you know I I'll share the tickets, put them some kind of way. Did your dad play here? Nah, um, my dad he didn't okay. he didn't. Play I don't know if he was in the varsity club or, or that, that's what that was. Yeah, um, I think it's the university club. I don't know what it's called though. So so will it be pretty exciting for uh, for your folks? I mean, you know, to be there this weekend, knowing that you know the, the big news has kind of happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, they can't wait. You know, they can't. They supported they supported the team last year, even though you know I wasn't on the field like that, but. You know, that's this is what they really want to see. You know, I um, growing up, I'm so when you get to a, a prestigious school like this, you have to kind of take a, a step back. You know, growing up, you know, so most people are used to being on the best team. I mean, being the best player on the best team, and then when you get here, you got to sit back, and um, that's what my family's used to. My family used to seeing me on the field, and it's it's time that I make that happen. She said you hadn't played football in, in two years. I graduated in 2011, and then I came here in, I want to say 2013, spring. I just got here last spring. Okay. Yeah. So you, you started off as, as, a, as you would have been a redshirt junior, is that right? Yeah. Gotcha. So, I mean, being away from the game, so you, you played football in high school. Yeah, I played you, football in high school. Play, and then, man, just, I guess, what even made you think to, to get back into it? Um, It's a lot of people where I'm from. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of talent, but it just goes to waste and I didn't want to be one of those people you know so in between the gaps of high school to being here you know I still I still I still um I still ran lifted weights played basketball I may not have been in the best shape but I knew once I get in once I get in football shape the game would come easy the only thing I had to do was learn the playbook you know learn the game had the game slow down and then then I'd be able to perform well what was that first day of practice like First day of practice, um, it was moving pretty fast, you know. It was, <laughs> but uh, you know, we did the fourth quarter drills, get us in shape, and then that first day of practice was a, uh, it was a different experience, you know, having a game game like simulations and uh, my first day of practice, I got to pick six, so um, you know that gave me confidence, you know. Once I did that, I was like, okay, I can really do this. Who'd you pick off? Uh, I can't. I think I want to say John Franklin. I can't. I think that's who it was. It was either John or Sean.